We hear a daf chaf on the base. Mistabra, the Gemara is answering the question my chazis, Chayve Lavin, that the Rebuy of Yevimto is coming to include Chayve Lavin in Chalit, so it should obviously be Kedushin. Because had he married a Chayve Lavin situation, but the Ever the Torah would recognize and validate the Kedushin, there is a Lekich. So when it says, in Lo Yachvots Lekachto, Lekachat, Lekachto, then it would include Chayve Lavin. Because Lekachto would be an option, at least for the Ever. But Chayve Krisus, even with the Evid Lotafsi Bekedushin, there's no valid way of generating issues in the case of Chayve Krisus, because Ein Kedushin Tovsin Bechayve Krisus. So if they went ahead and were Konis them the Iser, there would be no Kenyan at all. Therefore, they're excluded as well from Chalitza. That even with the Evid, Eino Miskayim Behem, it, you cannot fulfill with regard to them, even on the other situation, lo yachpot zich lakachta, meaning ha im chafetzu lakachta, he's lokha, they can't be lokha because there's no valid condition that would be ha. Masiv, rava. So again, all that we're learning is based on Rav Gido Amarav's drasha from Omar Kra, the also yevimto ashara, shein tamal Omar yevimto. Which means it could have said we also had shara, and the word yevimto is redundant. So what is the word yevimto coming to be? And we're assuming that's chayvi lavin because there is lekachta, not lechatchila, but you could have lekuchin and ishus with a woman who's only chayvi lavin. Mosiv rova rova asks akasha. We know that Yevam is Asura, Iser Mitzvah, the Iser Kedusha. Is Bale O Shechalatzla Niftera Tsarasa? So the Bryce is talking about a Yevama who's Asura, the Iser Mitzvah, Iser Kedusha, and we patter up the Tsara through Chalitza, or Yibum, of the Yovah. Esau could die to Chai Ve'lab, Midaraisa, Chalitza, Ramya, Li'yibum, Lo, Ramya, if we're going to derive from the Pasuk Yivim, though, on a Daraisa level. Then in these cases, for example, Chai Ve'lab, there's no Yibum, but there is Chalitza, is Kibale, if he violated this Iser, and he had a relationship with the Yovah, of Be'itzer, Kedusha, is Amai, Niftar, Tzarasa, the Torah says that there's no Yibum in this case. So how could the Torah, after being Mafkia Yibum, in the case of the Isa Kedusha, when the Bia of the Yibum is not relevant, it's not Yibum at all, and there was no Kiyum of the Mitzvah in this bias of Mitzvah's Yibum, so how could there be a Matir on the Tzar to the Shuk with that Bia? And the Gemara says, who most of love, who Mepharikla. Rava asked this question, and he himself gave the Teretz this question. That these cases that are mentioned in the Brisa of of Baal El Oshachal Etzla should be split into two. Let's start in Ketani. Baal El Iser Mitzvah and Chal Etzla Iser Kedusha. So when the Bryce speaks about Baal Leho, that's a case of Shneel Slarayas. That's only an Issa Drabbana. And therefore, on the Torah level, she falls to Yibu. And with the Evid, he was Mekayim with this beer, the din of Yibu. And therefore, that patterns up the Tzara. But in the case of an Issa Kedusha, which is an Issa Doraisa, just an Issa La, and it's not Kares, there is no Yibu on a Doraisa level. And therefore, his Yibu is not recognized or valid as a Yibu. And that would not, his bia, his ibu, would not pat up the tzara. I, it says, cholat's law. If teres tzara, so that's a iser kedusha. That refers to iser kedusha because minatora, she needs chalitza. She requires chalitza. Masiv Rava, we learned in a price up to a daka, who cross shivcha, these are all cases of chayve lavin, Osris, 
Bidei Adam that was castrated after he was born, Psulei Kol Asurim Bebas Yisrael, the Hazaken, and a man who's not capable of having children, is in all these cases, O Cholzin, O Miyabmin. What does that mean? Yibum is an option. We're talking about a Ptua Dak, a Kroshivcha, Sris Odom, a Zokin, Ketzai. The Bryce itself is asking how could it be that in these cases we have Chalita and Yibum as options? How could that be? Is Mesu. V'yeshlam achim, lahem noshim. If they, any of the above, died without children, and they have brothers, that's a of them, and they have now noshim that all for yibum. The omdu achim, the osu maimar ben ishoseim. get. <laughs> so following the Mimer, they gave a get. The Cholzu, well, they gave Chalitza Masha also also. The Mimer is effective in Rabbonin to be Kona. The Chalitza is Matad Rem And the get generates an Israel Ach, Fimbalu. If the deceased was, let's say, to a Daka, a Kroshivcha, a Swiss Adam, or a Zaken, and now after their death, the brothers, or one of the brothers, had Be'ila with the wife of one of those, Kanu. There's a Kenyan. That's what the Bryce says. Now we have the flip case. Mesu Achim. If the brothers died without children, the Omdu Heim and the Ptuadak, the Kurchivcha, the Sris Chama, the Sris Adam, or the Zakein, got up and Osu Maim Rabbin Shalseim, Venostu Ged Oshachol Tzumasha Osu Osu in Balu Kanu. So there would be a Kenyan Yibu. And the Ptuadaka, or the Kroshifcha, et cetera, et cetera, would have to be Megarish, the Yavama. The Osalakaima, we're not going to allow the marriage to go on, Mishum, because we're talking about Isurei Biel Bakal, Shanemar Lo Yav Ptuadaka, Kroshif Kalashev. So now Rav asks his Kashmis, Al Kedait Chayib Chayvi Lab Midaraisa, the Chalitza Rami Lib Lo Ramya, if in a case of the Yavama who falls for Yibum, the Chayvi Lav, the Torah excludes Yibu. Only accepts Chalitza. So then if any of the above who are Chayvi Lab, to Dakar, Shifra, Swiss, Odom, etc., Chayvi Lab, in Bolu, Amai Konu, how could they be Kona? On a Doraisa level, they don't have Torah's Yibu. Elama Rava, we must come to the conclusion that even in the case of a Chayvi Lab, there is Yibu. And Yavoma Sasurus Biso Lav Mis Yavmos. And we're going to apply the principle of Esse Dochalosas. I am Mishnah prohibited Almonov in a Erisin Lakoi Gadol Bi Yibum. That's different because that's not just a Lav, but that is an Eser Nami Esse Velosas. We have both an Esse and a Losas. The Torah says, Rahu Isha Bipsuleo Yikach has an Esse in addition. No, we, we don't have a who isha bipsula yika because we're talking about it's like we're talking about a Kohen Gadol. One second, why is there no essay of a who isha bipsula yika? Mm-hmm. 
is an essay in a look, sir. And he writes here, Af she'enba essay shehu isha bibsuleo yika. So I'm not sure exactly why. Let's leave that as a question mark. Anyway, there's an essay of Doshim Yul Elokeifem. So the essay of Yibum cannot be doch, an essay to Losus of Kahuna. So the Gemara says, okay, I understand the Suri Kahuna that I mentioned in Mishnah. You could give that answer that there's no Yibum and Yibum is prohibited because it's a love and an essay. But Mamzeris Unasina which the Mishnah prohibited for Yibum, Ma'ikul Mema. There, there's only a losev, layovo, mams there, etc. So, why should Nesse Docha Losa say? And the more answer is that in addition to the love, there's also an essay in the case of Amzeras. Siv is Kadash to be Isam Kedosh. So, that's the positive essay. And then, Ain Esse Docha Losa Viesse. So, the Gemara asks, Ihachi Kol. Allah and Shabbatar Kula Nami Essay Velosa say the Ksiv is Kadashtev. So why don't we apply for every single mitzvah of the Torah, the mitzvah of his Kadashtev? Not only in the Isra Mamzerus and the Sina. So it'll never be a love that you can be Docha through an essay Docha Losa said because it's always going to be an essay Docha Losa Viesa. So you'll never have a, a, a single case of essay docha losa. It's always going to be a losa viesa. El Amarava, on a Doraisa level, al monomina irisin l'koin gadol be yibum is mutter, eres, because ein ba el lota sebul vad viesa be yibum docha losa. But Gzera, the Chachamim prohibited it. They disallowed yibum. Al monomina irisin, we don't want to be matir and I'll want to be in a suin where the Easter is an Isu Torah. And therefore we prohibit it even in Almana Mina Iris. In the case of Almana Mina Asuin, there's a love of Almana Lo Yika and an essay of Huvi Isha Bipsuleo Yika. Ah, now I understand what we said before was an Almana Mina Iris, meaning that she's still a Psula. So there's no violation of the essay of he Isha bin Sulel Yika because she is, in fact, a There's only a violation of the essay of Kedoshim Yulel Ketham. But now we're talking about an Almonim in an Esuin. There, for sure, there's not only an Losas of Almonim Yika, but also a violation of the essay of who Isha bin Sulel Yika because bin an Esuin means she's already a Bu'ula. And ain essay, don't call Losas of essay. And now in the Almonim in Erisin, we're going to prohibit Yibu. As Xera ought to Almonim in a suit. So the Gemara asks, Bishlema, I understand Almonim in a Erisin and the Kohen Gadol Asura, there's Xera, as we said before, but Mam Zerusin has seen my equal of Mamar. Why should we prohibit it if it's only a Losase and we should apply the principle of Essay Docha Losas? And the Gemara answers, Xera, the Moko Mitzvah ought to. Shalom If we allow in the case of Yimum to override Mamzeris and to see the Lotas, uh, they might come to the Matir, the Mamzeris and the Nasinat Lakal, Shalom Mitzvah. When it's not Yimum, there's no Mitzvah Yimum. So when it says, Alameyata, even Eishes Achiv me Aviv, who falls for Yimum, Lotus Yavin. Why do we allow Yibam in the case of Eishas Ochev Me Aviv? Why not institute a Gzera 
that if we allow that, they'll come to be matir eishes ochem be'imo as well, where there's no bits of yibum, and there's an isa karos karis of eishes ach. And the grant says yibum benachla tal yirachmana umeda yedia. The Torah says that yibum depends upon nachla, meaning paternal relations, brothers mina'av. Yeshu achim yachtav is the opening line in the parasha of yibum. And Yachtov means Achim Ham Yuchadim Benachla. This is Gemara back on Daf Yitzayin Amid Beis. Who made the idea? Everybody knows that there's only Nachla through Achim and Av. That's public knowledge, common knowledge, and not Achim and Av. So it's your doer now that there's no Yibum except for Achim and Av, and therefore no one will come to make this mistake and confuse it with Achim and Av. The Mug Gemara now asks another Kash. Okay, but this is, I think, where we'll stop. Let's make a note of where we get up to here. Yeah? We're up to Icha She'en Lo Bonin. 